Hi everybody, I am Jared Ross, the Genie Vlogger, and on today's vlog, I will be discussing how Joe Rogan is related to Gerard Way and Mikey Way from My Chemical Romance. On a recent Joe Rogan podcast, he had Kevin Smith as a guest, and Kevin Smith ended up asking Joe if he was related to Gerard Way. Joe Rogan confirmed that this was true, but they didn't really talk much about it beyond that. But being that I'm a genealogist, I was super curious about how were they related, and so I wanted to see if I could figure it out. Starting out with what we know from the podcast, Joe Rogan has a grandmother named Josie, and she is an aunt, or more than likely a great aunt, to Gerard Way and Mikey Way. So from there, I created a research plan. And being that Joe Rogan's grandmother was most likely born before 1940, we're most likely going to be able to find her in the census records, and hopefully we'll be able to find a Josie or Josephine who's the sister of one of Gerard Way and Mikey Way's grandparents. The best place to start, I figured, was with the Way family and to look at Gerard and Mikey Way's grandparents. And the first grandparent I looked at was the most known grandparent of the Way brothers, and that was Elena Lee Rush. Now, my understanding is that the song Helena is actually about their grandmother, Elena. So if that's the connection, that would actually be pretty cool. A quick Google search of Elena actually leads to her obituary, and in that obituary, it actually gives us her maiden name of Spadone, S-P-A-D-O-N-E. It also gives us an approximate birth date around 1929. So from there, it was pretty easy to find her. We just needed to look for an Elena Spadone, born about 1929. Being that we had the obituary, we obviously had the death date. And with the death date, you can actually look in the social security indexes. And sometimes those will list the names of the parents. And luckily, Elena popped right up and we got the name of her parents, Savino Spadone and Jenny Anaziati. So now I had well more than enough to try to find her in the census, the name of her parents, her birth date, and her maiden name. And in a search, boom, she quickly popped up with the 1930 census. And in that census, not only did it list her and her parents, but it listed a whole bunch of other siblings. Savino was actually listed as Samuel. Jenny was listed as Geneve, which is interesting that Samuel using English, but Geneve using the Italian style name. And then it listed a bunch of children. Lucia, Josephine, Sandra, John, Frank, Geraldine, and Helen. And there we had a Helen Spadone, who's likely Elena, living with a Josephine, who is likely Joe's grandmother, Josie. And through a little further work, I was able to confirm that this was Joe's grandmother, Josephine. And boom, there it is. Joe Rogan is related to Mikey Way and Gerard Way because they all share the same great-grandparents, Savino Spadone and Jenny and Iziati. Now, for anyone who's ever been into coin collecting, the Spadone name may actually sound very familiar to you. And the reason for that is that Elena and Josephine's brothers, Frank and John, are well known within the coin collecting community. And there are actually books you can find by Frank G. Spadone about rare coins. But I decided I wanted to dive a little bit further and find out a bit more about the family. So I started to look more into Savino. Savino was born in 1893 in Melfi, Italy to Giovanni Spadone and Lucia Vitelli. At the age of 19, Savino traveled to the United States and went to go live with his uncle, Vincent Vitelli, who was living in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. Savino's uncle, Vincenzo, who had actually gone by Vincent and James in the U.S., had arrived about 1901. After Savino arrives in 1912 and moves to Berkeley Heights, he eventually moves to Newark before 1913 when his sister Marietta, who also went by Mary, she arrives in the U.S. and goes to live with her brother Savino in Newark. Their other brother Francesco, who also went by Frank, 
arrives in 1920, seven years after Mary and eight years after Savino. In 1931, Savino started to take the steps to become an American citizen by putting in his Declaration of Intention. Now, this document is absolutely amazing when it comes to genealogy because it gives so much information. You get the birth date, the birthplace, the name of the spouse, the spouse's birth date, the spouse's birthplace, gives you the name of the children, their birth dates, where they're residing. But even better is sometimes these documents, such as in this case, give us a picture. Two years after submitting his Declaration of Intention in May of 1933, he then submitted his petition, which is the next step in the process. And then on September 11th, 1933, Savino Spadone signed his Oath of Allegiance and officially became an American citizen. Now, unfortunately for Savino's brother, Frank, it didn't go as well in his attempt to become an American citizen. Frank submitted his Declaration of Intention in 1938, but unfortunately, he was submitting right before the beginning of World War II. And when he put in his petition in 1945, he was not able to gain his citizenship. And the reason they list is character not established. Frank was denied in June of 1945. So a big question with this is, did his Italian ancestry play a part in the fact that he wasn't able to become an American citizen? Now, this could actually be because during World War II and afterwards, many Italian Americans were looked at suspiciously and sometimes even considered alien enemies. And during World War II, there were many who were interned, just like the Japanese internment camps. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you enjoyed, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can also click right about here if you'd like to subscribe. It's completely free to do so. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at The Genie Vlogger. I'm The Genie Vlogger. See you in my next video.